Good afternoon. I hope you had a good lunch. They took The third meeting of the 23rd session of the Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues is called to order. Distinguished forum members, distinguished observer and friends, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, in accordance with our program of work, the forum will continue this afternoon with its consideration of agenda item 5D, Human Rights Dialogue with the Special Rapporteurs on the Right of Indigenous Peoples and the SPER Mechanism on the Right of Indigenous Peoples, Annual Review of Progress on the Implementation of the General Recommendation Number 39 of 2022. We will have a general discussion on this item and hear from the speaker scribe on the list of speakers for the item. Before we proceed further, however, I would kindly inform all participants that this list of speakers is closed. Speakers are reminded to raise their hand when the floor is given to them and press your mic in order to allow the sound engineers to locate you and turn on your mic. The speaker are reminded to ob observe the time limited of three time, three minutes. I'm sorry, of three minutes, and to watch for then the red light on their mic beginning to flash after two minutes as a signal to conclude their remark. The speaker are one against requested to deliver their statement at a reasonable speed so that the interpreters can keep translated on what they're saying. Participants who could not take the floor. Is of their statement to the secretariat through the email address. E statements at un.org. This email address is also passed on the wall for easy of reference in my left there. I now call on Organizasi Pribimi Papua Barat. Distinguished uh, Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Anari from West New Guinea or West Papua. West Papua is a victim of the Cold War and mining conspiracy. Finally, United States of America and United Nations support Indonesia to occupy non-self-governing territory of West New Guinea or West Papua. See UN resolution 448 that set up West Papua or West New Guinea as non-self-governing territory. After the establishment of UN Resolution 1514 in 1960 for granted independence to all non-self-governing territory around the world, so uh, our administrator, the Kingdom of Netherlands, <coughs> granted independence for our island of West New Guinea in December 1st, 1961. After we declare independence, then Indonesia sent the military in 19 December 1961 to occupy West New Guinea. So US President John F. Kennedy pushed the Kingdom of Netherlands to transfer the administration of West New Guinea to the United Nations Temporary Executive Authority, then transfer it to the Republic of Indonesia. We deny that United Nations Charter Article 85 have to grant the trusteeship over West New Guinea, 
but UN Charter Article 85 Part 2 require that the trusteeship agreement, the General Assembly Resolution 1752, it's which authorized foreign invasion and colonial rule over people and homeland. For a year, I have repeatedly asked this forum to obey the law that must tell the trusteeship council about General Assembly Resolution 1752. Again, and I'm asking this organization to obey your own law. We're asking UNSRIP and EMRI recommended to ECOSOC to set up UN Resolution 1752 into the agenda of the Trusteeship Council this year. Because of that, today, my soldier was Papua National Liberation Army fighting in the island, and so many thousand soldiers in the nation sent to the island of West New Guinea. And now, Indonesia using the air bomber and bomber the village make our people running to the forest. But my soldier never give up, and we, we can continue to fight until we get our right to self determination. So I thank you for this time to me to speaking. Thank you so much. I thank you for your statement.